Open and you bullish, but baby, I'm not from Chicago. Heard me talking about Ivy and dripping the bag. They thought that I came from the hospital. No, I just came back from trading. Just to the sun, no vacations. I'm really not trying to be flagrant when I tell you that most of my calls will be naked. Funny when I make a bad play, I get a standing ovation. It's like I'm addicted to antibiotics to try to get rid of this clap. But fuck it, I always come back in the AM to the GG. What's that stand for? I am not a drug dealer, I'm a landlord. All my tenants see the roof. That Mercedes Benz don't need one. I went from belly to Bel Air, from the slums to the field to the top of the hill to a street where you can't park a car without a parking pass. I'm just trying to chill with my boys in an island off the coast, bar hopping like a Zach Trash. Watching me lose like a. Maybe on this side of the hose. See, it's probably easier this side, right? If you apply it to uh, remote and give a different like field, yeah, yeah. It's, if you want to move it that way, so it's doable because we're working on software, so we can always cut and move everything all the plumbing to that side. Mm -hmm. And if it's going to be a walking shower. Um, so you guys saw the house in a nutshell. Uh, at the end of the day, I could have made money wholesaling it, but at the same time, I knew there was bigger upside if I did the flip myself. Is it stressful? Absolutely. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's floods, <laughs> there's leaks, there's holes in the wall, there's popcorn ceilings. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, I, I ask myself the same question every day, like why am I doing this? But at the end of the day, you guys will see in about 60 days, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a decent property. It's also class. Plus I got so many bars like the one minute chart. I already know you can't handle it. You ain't making moves, you a mannequin. We got that flame, that candlestick. They ain't got that flame. Tell them it's a cult, not a game. Walk through the mud and the rain, just bring a little hope to the people in pain. I don't want lies, I want honesty. Negative vibes bother me. Stay up on your grind until you make it out of poverty. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get in my bag on heavy. I'm zoom, zoom, zoom to Fetty. My pockets look full, not empty. You loaded? I'm loaded. We never gon' fold, you know it. That's fast right there, go quote it. It's coke, 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 we go it. Different level, it's level. I'm told, they watch it, we popping. All right, so this is my favorite part of the house. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, bro. Go ahead. Uh, so. The hardest part of the whole thing is coming, like coming up with a vision. Like, how do you want it to look? What flavor? What style? What colors? And I'm not good at that. As you can see, I wear the same thing every single day. I got that Mark Zuckerberg syndrome. But I got a girl who's coming in. She's gonna. She charges me, obviously, but she's gonna come design everything. She'll blueprint everything and tell the contractors what to do, what color schemes work, what's working, what's not. She'll ask for my feedback, but you know me, I don't really care too much. But what I'm picturing here is a nice brand new bath shower with a tub for kids and family, a nice little vanity, obviously a toilet. Uh, it's fun fact, in Egypt, that's what the toilets look like to this day in 2021. That's what toilets look like in third world countries. We're blessed, baby, we're blessed. But yeah, get a nice, like, open feel to it and just get nice paint and just really, really make sure it just kind of pops, you know? Demo the showers, the paint. Okay. Just finish demo, clean everything up. I just wanna, by the end of the week, I want a box. That's okay. it. Nice and clean so the three of us can come in and find out the leaks. That's big thing number two. Yeah. And the popcorn things. So that's one of the things that I was talking to him. So it's depending on the designer too. Mm -hmm. But uh, just use, uh, they're using these channel drains. Mm -hmm. so oh, that's cool. With the, yeah. with the floor. Uh, once yeah. you give me the blueprint, well, to work but this week just clean up the rest of the house demo the shower the bath the closets okay and then you guys clean up and stuff right so we can, yes yeah all right cool so we'll be back here so probably around three o'clock okay cool all right you guys want food or anything or no this is hunter Say what's hi. up hunter. <laughs> what's your name taylor. taylor 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 will be a future real estate investor yeah. one day yeah. just keep saving your money man Stack them. I learned from your dad. That's what I did. <laughs> Make millions. Did you die? Did you die on property? Yeah, he had he had a bunch. He lost them all. You know, it was a rough 2008. Yeah. Yeah. That's all he did. Yeah, I definitely want to get into that though. Yeah, cool. So let me know where I can help. Yeah. So this is the problem portion of the black mold. So there's black mold here. Uh, we're gonna have to cut it out, fix the valves. Dry it out. Make sure the uh, the guy comes in and he does all the uh, the kind of mediation. I think it's called remediation. 
kind of just dry everything out. If you have a leak at home, that's what they do. They get those fans and they do all that stuff and they dry it out so no mold can um, kind of grow. The other option is to spray with bleach. That helps to kind of kickstart the, the, the murdering of the mold. But this is like straight black mold. You could literally die from this stuff, like, which is, it's crazy that I'm even standing this close. All right, so status update, kind of just overall summary. We got this house for 700,000. Um, so far, we've only put the 2200 in, which is the demo. And you guys saw the demo. It's, it's a lot of demo work. Um, we'll probably have to pump more into that demo bu budget based on the leaks that we found, the black mold that we found. So there's a lot of moving pieces that we have to kind of account for. I have the designer coming in uh, this week. She's gonna just kind of blueprint everything. So the designer on that one, usually I don't do a designer because they're usually cookie cutter and I understand what needs to be done. But for this one, I want to make it nice. It's in the high end neighborhood. So I want to make it sexier than normal. She's going to probably charge 5,500 bucks just for her expertise. And she's kind of like a project manager, right? So she comes here, she tells people what to do. You do this, hey, you do that, you go, go, go. And that's what I want. That's what I need. Someone like an assistant, assistant coach. Um, so she's going to charge about 5,500. So all in all right now, what I've invested besides like the down payment and whatnot um, is $7,500 just to get us to this point, which is crazy. Um, most most of the time that covers like 22% of my, uh, my revenue costs. But in this instance, a lot of cleanup, a lot of work. We just got to get through it. We got to just chunk, tr just drive away, man. Just chip away at it. Um, it'll be done in 60 days, which is amazing. So. This house, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst that we've seen. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I would say nine. I mean, I've seen worse. I've thrown up in worse, um, to be honest with you. But even that one that I threw up in twice, I threw up twice in that house, um, we ended up making a decent profit. And it was a little smaller. So something like this, when you walk into, you're gonna be kind of overwhelmed, right? You're gonna say, all right, I kind of want to, don't want to do it. But this is kind of where you, you make the most money. And most of the time you're gonna see projects that don't need this much work. Um, it's gonna be basic carpet paint and that's it. Um, or flooring, like hardwood flooring and paint. That's it. This one is, you're gonna need windows, flooring, paint, remodel of the kitchen, uh, exterior stuff, your roof. I'm gonna install solar on it. Like the concrete out here needs to be leveled out. Um, the grass in the front yard, there's a leak. Uh, there's sewer, like there's a whole bunch of stuff, but this one will be, more intimidating for a first time kind of flipper but most of the stuff you'll see in ohio indiana stuff like that hopefully they won't be like definite hoarder houses but they will be easier to flip for you guys so keep that in mind different budgets for different kind of scopes of work something like this is going to have a way bigger budget than something in indiana that's just three bedrooms two bath all you need is floors and paint so keep that in mind oh, even the bugs can survive so there were cabinets here, so I have no idea what leaked. So the fridge was here. I'm guessing it's the moisture from the fridge and it just spread. But at the end of the day, the steps really, I mean, let's, let's go backwards, right? You want to purchase a home to flip it. You have to find that house. The uglier, the better is my theory. Uh, but if you can find it nice and pretty and, and got a good deal, go for it. But find the right house, uglier, the better at the right price. Okay. So you want to aim for about 70% of the after repair value and the after repair value is what is it worth the home after you fix it up so what's this house going to be worth you'll find out soon um, so that's step number one step number two is get the financing right whether you're paying cash or hard money loan i have the hard money lender for you um, he lends nationwide so email me um, my email is in the course in the description we have a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can kind of reach out with us so that's step number two get the financing step number three is do what i'm doing now which is really just demoing this out of this like just cleaning it up starting from scratch getting a blank can canvas we like to call it a box just make the house a box and then i can come in with the designer and do that that's step number four i think so yeah whatever that is find it find the right do designer find the right crew um you want to maybe do that before i mean once you get one going you're going to probably have the same crew just because you're familiar with the way they work and how they act and the pricing as well so get the crew in here get the designer Get them to work, man. You, after you demo, just start painting, start scrubbing everything, analyze where every, all the problems childs are, where the leaks are and stuff like that. So get everything cleaned up, painted, updated, and then after you remodel everything, step number whatever this is, list it and sell, baby. I would recommend staging it before you list it. 
and staging it is hiring someone who comes in and furnishes the whole house. Once you stage it, get really good photos. Don't take them on your iPhone. Don't take them um, on your, your flip phone if you still got one on your Nokia or whatever that is. Hire a professional, get some drone footage, do all that stuff, make it look nice, listing presentation ready, just like you're gonna list your own home, and then get it on the open market. And uh, have an open house the first weekend, that's really the, the, the biggest goal. You see it in all the flip, fix and flip shows. They have that open house and it's, it's a boom, and they usually sell it then. So that's the steps, once you close, you go to Vegas, you double down on black, don't do that, don't do that. But those are the steps. So let me know if you have any questions, we have a course that kind of details everything in like whatever I just said is all in the link below. But if you need hands-on coaching, we have Tyler and Trey. If you want to get into real estate, we have Tyler and Trey and myself. We want to buy ugly properties. If you have something you want to sell us, we'll pay you a wholesale fee for it. So there's opportunity out there if you just follow the steps. I promise you, you'll make some money um, in 2021, 2022 if you just follow the steps and get some deals. All right, guys. Like options, you know, it's real, it's really real Like Philo time, cause you can't help but make a meal If your people blind Restless, cause I've been around it I just, I just want the lessons Cooking up, cooking up like I'm making breakfast While I'm eating good, but you know I had to Alright guys, we're here at the, the fabulous fix and flip As you can see, we got the popcorn ceilings still here and there But gone there, bathroom's all demoed we are here with our new project manager. Hi. Karina, how are you? So we were just talking about what you do for me, basically, or yeah. people who need help. Yeah, totally. So there's two things that I can do. I can design it, which I would pretty much do what I'm doing now and just look at the whole house, take um, notes, take pictures, go back home and kind of visualize everything, yeah. get some ideas going, Definitely look into more of how can we make this house into a beyond beautiful home with keeping the budget always at the right, not the lowest, but just the right amount. Um, and then I get all those ideas, I put them in like a vision board for my client and I would come back in about a week and show them everything that I have and that I've created. Mm -hmm. Um, if they like it, they, we can proceed. If they want to make some changes, I go back and I change that up to whatever they would like. But ultimately, I'm giving what I think would work best for the home. Um, but what if I need you for like project manager? Like yeah, I'm getting so, a headache already. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so project management. I know some people might see, oh, it's easy. Like, no, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, like yeah. it's a lot of hard work, especially when you're dealing with contractors. It's like, yeah. It's a lot. Um, I wish all contr contractors were punctual. They're all the time and yeah. doing what they're supposed to. But usually half of that time, it, that doesn't happen. That's why you need people like me who will check up on the project every other day, make sure everyone's here, yeah. that the job's getting done, that they're not overcharging my client with the material, you know. So I come in here, I make sure that everything's going smooth that everything the client asked for is getting done on time. Because time, you yeah. guys, time is such a big thing in the flipping world and, you know, and construction and all that. So you would be here every other day? Or? I would try to be here every other day, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because you want to see what's going on. There's days, I swear, like, I was working on a project where they were like, yeah, we're getting this done. And this is in the beginning where I was like, oh, I trust everyone, you know. <laughs> Everyone's my friend, and I would show up, and there would be nothing, nothing. Just like today, right? <laughs> it's like empty house, and no one's here. And I would be like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> yeah, it would be so bad. Yeah. And that's why I was like, "No, you really have to check up on the projects. Like, or you just have to." And then you'll help with material and design yeah. and all that. Yeah, stuff. exactly. So yeah. that would be more of the project management. I would include that the design into the project management instead of just. Coming in designing a week later, I bring the designs and you're like, okay, I like this. Okay, cool. You know, these are the colors, these are the materials. And then you go off and do your own thing or you tell your contractors. Sometimes people choose to go that route when they really, really trust their contractors and they've been working with them with, for a long time. Yeah. But um, sometimes people are just like, dude, I'm so busy. I don't have time to come in every other day. I don't have time to talk with them for hours. And, you know, so then you get a project manager. 
Cool. To handle all that. I like it. You're hired. <laughs> Bless it. Looked inside the mirror. Told my demons hit the exit. That was Benny, that was level, fuck the demons, fuck the devil, throw the pebble, be successful, you can't tell me, code ain't special, I got rich, I made a stencil, like a chair, it's really simple, the framework is in the lecture, Ay, like curry on the chain, my brother, you know what, I know you know the name, you ain't never seen my face, probably watch in the game, did it with a couple plays, let me kick a little lesson, you ain't never gonna chase, what's yours, you always get some, what I'm really trying to say, longer that you wanna stock, more that's getting safe, what I like to say, I ain't trying to make you stay.